Hello, Joe Lyons, and this video we're going to demonstrate a little script I have. Um, it it will dump it. It will copy whatever text you have highlighted. So let's say I I highlight this text here, and when I hit Windows C, it will copy that to the clipboard. Um, it sends copy, and then notice this little tooltip that popped up. That is now on my clipboard. As you can see here, I just pasted it. I'm going to come back. When I open up a browser, I can paste it in here, and what it did was it um, put the clip, whatever I had on my clipboard, up onto this um, hkscript.org paste bin, um, and so that's just a tool, a website where you, you can automatically share things with other people. Um, again, let me show here if I was to do all of this, and I hit Windows C. Now all you'll see here is a little tooltip pop up, right? Um, that's letting me know it'll disappear here in, in after four seconds. Uh, the other thing you can do is I can uncomment this, and now when I run it, when I hit Windows C, so I just restarted it there. When I hit Windows C, it's going to browse to it, because I say run the clipboard, which is that URL, and then it shows me that, yes, it actually did work. Um, when I first wrote this, this was nice, because I felt better making sure that it's actually there, because mainly I would be using this to... Um, I'd be collaborating with somebody and talking to them and want to share some code with them. And this was a very quick, easy way for me to highlight some text, just hit a, a hotkey, and it would dump it on there, return the URL that I could in, then put in my instant messenger or my web chat or put it in an email and send it. Especially if you have a, um, a program that other people's email will block, um, you can just highlight the text and send it that way. So that's it. It's... Uh, let me see here, it's uh, 42 lines total, pretty tiny overall. Um, the one thing you'll want to do when you uh, uh, borrow this is put in your name here. You don't have to have license to it, but you can put in your name. Right now it just says your name, so I, this should have said Joe Kleins. I had it saying your name because uh, I was sharing this, and so I wanted people to know to change that out. Um, but that's it. I'm going to go ahead and comment that back out, save it. If I relaunched it, it would um, take care of it. Uh, it would it would have the new version where that's not in there. Um, and real quickly here, so what it does, Windows, this just means Windows C. If you, when you hit Windows C, it's going to send um, Control C, which is copy, right? So whatever text you have highlighted, it's going to send Control copy, and then it's going to wait a second for something to fill up the clipboard. If nothing fills up, it'll actually say, hey, there was nothing copied to the clipboard, let you know. It doesn't keep moving forward because nothing was copied. Uh, and then what it does is it calls this me paste function, which will jump you to here. Um, and this is an HTTP request, so this is a com object that will connect to this. It basically parses together the parameters it needs to do to do the request, sends it, returns as long as everything went well. So here, if it doesn't come back with a 200 from a HTTP request, it, if it's not a 200, then something went wrong. It'll put up a message box saying something went wrong, um, and then stop. But if it do is, which it almost always is, a 200, um, it will return back the URL uh, back to you. And that's it. This is the URI encoding. So for your name and a couple other in the characters, uh, you need to URI encode it uh, to dump it there. And then this is just the tooltip thing that it, it, it splashes on splashes off um, to let you know that it's been done. But that's it. Pretty fun little script. Thanks.